all over the world, the landscape is shifting. Rising fuel prices and growing concerns about climate change are pushing cities, countries and businesses to focus on renewable energy. Lagos is at the forefront of this transformation in Nigeria. The city is leading the charge in sustainable development with major projects like the electric-powered Lagos Blue Line paving the way for a cleaner future. But it's not just about public infrastructure. Businesses in Lagos are also embracing this change. A standout example is the new National Theatre, a bold project by the Bankers Committee. It's more than just a renovation. It's a vision to create a fully self-sustaining city around the theatre, powered entirely by renewable energy. So guys, this is the grand vision of the National Theatre. When the construction of the National Theatre is complete, this is what it will look like. The National Theatre is over here. This is the train station, right? And there are other buildings that will be built around it. The transformation has already begun with the new solar panels installed on the theatre's roof, giving it access to 24 hours electricity. In today's video, I will show you how fast Nigeria is adopting renewable energy and what this means for the country's future. Trees are in green, the ocean is grey, sky is a vague blue, come away. What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? It's a beautiful morning here in Lagos. Um, Alright, so in today's video, I want to show you guys how fast Nigeria, Lagos particularly, is quickly adopting the renewable energy concept, okay? And what exactly this means for Lagos and Nigeria as a country. So for a lot of you who do not know, there is a remarkable project going on at the National Theatre, right? Some of you already know that the National Theatre is currently being renovated by the Bankers Committee. However, the project that is going on the National Theatre goes beyond just renovation. There is an actual plan to build an entire city around the National Theatre that will be completely self-sustaining. They'll be completely off the national grid. And this is a one-of-a-kind city. On your screen right now, you'll be seeing a 3D uh, mock-up of what this city would look like, okay? Now, in today's video, I want to show you guys the, the progress of work at the National Theatre, okay? But before I do that, I want to take you guys to an amazing project happening at the heart of Lagos, Nigeria. Guys, this is something that I think is the first of its kind in Nigeria, and I dare say even in West Africa. There is an entire building, a high-rise building in, um, on the island right now, that is completely self-sustaining. They have gone off the national grid. Guys, this building right now is completely covered with solar panels, generating their own power. And I want to show you guys what it looks like. Guys, it's 2024, and the transformation happening in Lagos is mind-blowing. You'll be completely amazed and astonished about what you will see okay so i want you guys to stay locked on this channel i want to take you to this building show you what they've done before i head to the national theater okay i want you guys to watch this video to the end because it promises to be an exciting experience for you guys today watch the video to the end and as usual please help me subscribe get me to 10,000 subscribers by the end of december guys this is my wish for christmas okay make my christmas wish come true Help me get to 10,000 subscribers. All you have to do is click the subscribe button down below. Just click, guys. That's all I want you to do. Click the subscribe button down below to help me get to 10,000 subscribers. All right. Do not go anywhere. Let's get right into the video. We are currently at Marina Lagos, and I want to show you the building. It's a Sterling Bank head office right here in um, on the island, right? They've gone completely off the grid, and this is what the building looks like right now. This is it, guys. Every part of the building is solared up. They covered it with solar, solar panels. So every inch of the building generates power for them. Every inch of the building generates power for them. Can you see this, guys? It's just completely amazing. So I'm about to, I want to get... Wow. Wow. Uh, just keep going, yeah. So I want to um, try to get close to the building so I can show you guys what it looks like, okay? Um, stay locked, do not go anywhere. Straight, you are going straight down. Oh wait, enter, slow down, slow down. Just be going, be going, be going, be going. Straight. Yeah, straight. So guys, this is my friend right here, Fado the Great. You know the vibe. <laughs> we are on our way to check out the National Theatre, but we decided to stop by here at the I'm telling back head office. Now they announced that they, they are going off the grid in, uh, on the first of on, on first month of 2024, which is in January. 
and they are going off the grid. And ever since then, Sterling Bank has been generating their own power. They've been self-sufficient. You know, they are the pace setters when it comes to renewable energy in Nigeria. And I'm going to be showing you, telling you all about this building and giving you all the tea about it. So stay locked, guys. Fad, Alpha, what do you think about the Nigeria, the future of Nigeria when it comes to renewable, uh, renewable energy? Well, it's very, very impressive. I've been seeing some really cool oh, stuff, like that one you just showed me. Now, the bank, like, right? It's really mind blowing. So it's a, it's a really incredible idea, honestly. But I'm just looking at it. Yeah. It's like, is this like the first thing? Yeah, like, like the first building the, of yeah, this yes, um, niche, innovation here in the world, or is something that is already existing somewhere else, like maybe in the Western world, you already mm, have common mm, buildings like this. Mm, and you know, like, where Nigeria are just trying to adopt that system. I'm just very curious. Yeah, all over the world, right? I, I don't know about the world, but I think in Africa, Sterling Bank is probably, um, if not the first, I would say they are the top three what? Um, um, companies that have fully adopted the concept wow. of renewable energy wow, and now it's it's amazing. actually so amazing that theirs they actually went further oh. by completely by 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 completely you know covering up all their walls all the, the entire buildings with solar panels so every frame every inch of the building is made up of solar panels then the other question now that, that i'm looking at something like this is mm. um, are these solar panels being used for this building different from the solar panels used in normal homes? No, I think it's normal. It's the same solar panels. I'm sure you know. We, I know we have different types of solar panels. Oh, that's right? true. That's true. That's right. We don't know. That's true. Uh, I don't true. know the names. Yeah. I know we have a mono something. We have a poly something. Yeah. For for the people watching, they might have know the exact names and the kind of panels yes, used. Yeah. But I don't want to know if this is a different type of technology. Do you understand? Yeah. Because from my little knowledge of. Um, this thing yeah solar panels you know panels are supposed to be inclined at a certain angle right yeah but this is like straight so i feel like the, these panels i wish sure uh, so uh, based on what i what i found out right the panels are actually designed in such a way whereby we are supposed to park here okay okay in fact let's just come down make you the go okay guys um so my friend will be leaving us right now fad Okay. It's been amazing, right? You, um, having you today, guys. I want to show you guys more about this building, okay? So stay locked, do not go anywhere. All right, guys. So we just um highlighted we are currently on, on Broad Street, right behind the Sterling Bank head office, okay? Look at the head office right here, it's completely solar up, guys. Completely. So everything you are seeing on the building right now is solar panels, everything apart from the glasses, but. Apart from the, glass, the windows, I mean, every other thing is made up of solar panels, okay? As usual, this is my friend Yannick. He's a drone pilot and he's going to be, um, we'll be flying the drone to show you guys what the building looks like, the area view, and just give you amazing shots of the Lagos Island, what Lagos Island looks like right now, okay? Yannick, Alpha, what do you think? Now, what are your thoughts about... Um, a self-sustaining high-rise in Nigeria going completely off national grid. Uh, I think Stanley Bank have suffered a lot in Nigeria and Nepal. <laughs> let us put it that way. <laughs> and they decided to be on their own, like guy. Let us be. Let us Let's generate our own power. Our own power because yeah. These people we can't rely, rely, rely on, on them, them right? Now the cost of fuel also gone up. The diesel gone up. What? What, what is left to do? Yeah, guys, okay, that's what you just said makes a lot of sense. The cost of running businesses in Nigeria when it comes to diesel um, purchasing, PMS purchasing is really, really on the high side, okay? And right now, Sterling Bank, they are very, very smart and very futuristic. Now, first of all, this is not a promotion for Sterling Bank, so you guys will know, okay? So they are very futuristic by actually going completely off the grid and say, you know what, we don't want to incur any more cost on... Um, um, PMS on diesel, let's generate our own power. That's what they are doing right now. So yeah. it's completely, it's an amazing um, innovation, really. So I want you guys to stay locked. We are here. Let's give you guys what the area shot looks like. Guys, this is what it looks like. So beautiful. All right, so we decided to just chill here. We decided to chill at these spots. Let's set up the drone and let's fly. This is the entrance to the the entrance to the building. Uh, 
On the 1st of January 2024, Sterling Bank's headquarters in Marina, Lagos made a bold move by fully transitioning to solar power. Now, the iconic Sterling Towers operate entirely on advanced solar energy, highlighting the bank's commitment to sustainability. This shift makes Sterling Towers a leader in renewable energy in Africa, setting an example for other corporations that economic growth and environmental care can go hand in hand. The project is the first of its kind in Africa, featuring over 3,250 high-efficiency solar panels covering 6,500 square meters on its 17-story building. The solar system is expected to produce 10,500 megawatts over 25 years, generating close to 1,500 kilowatts to power the HQ. This change isn't just about sustainability. It also means significant energy cost saving, which will be directed towards better services for customers. Alright guys, so I'm currently in the National Theatre and I want to show you guys the progress of work that is going on here. Like I told you guys, there is an entire city that is being built around the National Theatre. Okay, most of you already know, for those who are familiar with the National Theatre, there is a vast land, right, in the National Theatre that is empty. Look at it. All of this land right here is empty. And this is the National Theatre right here, right in the middle, right? And surrounding the National Theatre is a lots and lots of land that are not being used for anything. Okay, all of this land, you can see the um, Echo Bridge right there. And before the Echo Bridge, there is more than, you know, there's a very, very huge distance between myself and the bridge. So this is the National Theatre, guys. So now, the Bankers Committee came together not just to renovate the National Theatre but to build an entire city that is self-sustaining around this building and you know it's just going to be amazing. The National Theatre itself is currently being powered by solar on the roof all right on the panel the roof is being um, the roofing sheet has been changed to solar panels okay so it's just a very amazing thing what the Bankers Committee is doing um, yeah Baby, don't break me. The National Theatre is an iconic landmark in Nigeria, symbolizing national unity and peace. After years of neglect, the Bankers Committee of Nigeria has stepped in to revitalize the historic structure. Today, the National Theatre stands restored, a testament to renewed dedication to preserving Nigeria's culture and heritage. But the vision extends far beyond the restoration. The Bankers Committee is not only focused on reviving the National Theatre itself, but is also planning to create an entire self-sustaining city around it, powered entirely by renewable energy. This ambitious project will transform the more than 60-acre site into a hub of innovation and sustainability. The transformation has already begun, marked by the newly restored theatre and the installation of the modern solar panels on its roof. All right, guys, I'm currently at the National Theatre. Okay, I'm, I came to check out the progress of work here and work is going on just fine. I want to show you guys, right inside the National Theatre, there is a train station and there is, they are building some car parks right now as part of the original design for the, um, the city that is being built around here. The train station is actually the, part of the government's plan built into the National Theatre and it runs on electricity while um, the car parks are actually built um so you know so uh, the car parks are built to be a service um park for the theater and of course when the entire city is finished okay the car parks will serve not just the theater but people coming into this new city to um engage in one activity or the other well done sir nice work yeah, all right so we're currently heading to the train station we want to head to Mile two. Yeah, so we just left the National Theatre right now, and this is the National Theatre train station right here. Guys, the work happening inside National Theatre is just amazing. Now, because of I, I wanted to use the opportunity to let you guys know that the, in Nigeria right now, the price um, hike in fuel is really crazy. Okay, and a lot of people are struggling to put lights in their houses. 
you know, because there's yet to be 24 hours per hour supply in Nigeria, you know. So I want to use the opportunity. There is a company called Kes Golden Tech. They do in, um, solar installations, inverter installations, what have you, CCTV and all of that, you know. So they are a renewable energy company that is focused on helping you have 24 hours per hour supply without breaking the bank. No matter what your budget is, guys, you can actually go to Kes Golden right now. Check on my screen. There are some phone numbers there that you can use. You can call and make inquiries. They will give you all the juicy details that you need to know about, um, about you know, your installations in your house. Okay. So right here in the theater, I'm going to be showing you guys some drone shots of the land that will be used right here, um, that will be used for the city being built. What I'm looking at right now is the train station. I'll be coming close. I'm, I'm, I'll be showing you guys what the car park look like. Looks like I mean, okay, the car park is really, really being um, rushed right now. Okay, we'll be coming close to the park car park soon. So the train station is behind me. National Theatre is over here, and this is the car park. And this is just one of many car parks that will be built, by the way. This particular car park shouldn't have been built here, you know, but because of some issues that came up, they had to move this one here. And the construction work is actually moving really, really fast. Construction work is moving really fast. Wow, 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 wow. That's the train, guys. <laughs> That's the beautiful train. So guys, tell me about what, what do you guys think about the new developments right here in the National Theatre, the new city that's being built here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, okay? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, that's it for me on this one today. Until next time, guys, peace.